All right, time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of French life with Florence Villeminot. Now, hello there, Flo. Now, this week we're going to focus on the world of French cinema. There's a particular love and pride of movies here in France. After all, it is the birthplace of cinema. Indeed, the very first commercial screening of a film happened in Paris on December 28th, 1895, uh, and over 100 years later, the silver screen is still booming here in France. France actually has the largest number of cinema in Europe, uh, there are over 2,000 movie theaters across the country, and Paris actually has the highest density of cinemas in the world. So uh, I guess it's easy to say that French people love going to the cinema. Uh, in fact, they're the biggest moviegoers in Europe. Over 209 million cinema tickets were sold in 2017, which may actually seem surprising given the rise of online streaming, but many French people are purists. These are works of art. They were made to be watched on the big screen, not slouched on my sofa on a tiny screen with a phone ringing. Films are made to be seen in a movie theater, not on TV. I don't even own one. Flo, I had no idea that there were that many cinemas here in France. Good to know. I love going to the cinema. Uh, listen, part of the reason that French cinema is on the map internationally is because of the large number of film festivals annually. And I certainly can't list all of them because there's so many. There's the animated film festival in Annecy, the American film festival in Deauville, and of course, the Cannes Film Festival, which is seen as one of the most prestigious film festivals in the world, and it is intense. There's, of course, the official competition where uh, films compete for the famous Palme d'Or, the Golden Palm, uh, but there are also several uh, competitions along the side. You have Un Certain Regard, uh, La Semaine de la Critique. There are all sorts of festivals alongside the official competition, and there's also a lot of business that happens during the uh, Cannes Film Festival because it's actually one of the largest film markets in the world. So over a two-week period, all the who's who of uh, French cinema or in the world cinema descend on La Croisette, which is the seafront promenade in a, in a can, and it really multiplies the, the population by three. There's all the glitz and glamour of the red carpet, uh, but also lots of people just trying to get a glimpse at the stars on the red carpet. Here's Catherine, Natalie, Lambert Wilson when he was younger. I've been here since yesterday, and let me tell you, it was tough to find a spot for my stepladder. There are thousands of us, and everyone wants the best view. Some real uh, die-hard uh, film uh, festival fans there. Um, France is known for having a particularly strong film industry, due in part to protections that are afforded by the French government. Well, cinema is actually the crown jewel of uh, what's known as the cultural exception here in France. That's actually a state policy that was put in place in the 1950s to protect France's culture and France's cultural heritage. Now, for the movie business, that means defending French films against the steamroller of free trade global capitalism, essentially American films and especially Hollywood. There's a lot of stake on the silver screen. It's much more than just cinema. There's an economic, political and cultural aspect. It's all three at the same time. That's why the movie world is much more than just about films. There's a hidden cinema war going on. So there's actually a state agency that's sole purpose is the production and the promotion of French movies. This is the very powerful CNC. It's our word du jour. So CNC is the National Center for Cinema and Moving Images. It's an agency of the Ministry of Culture, in fact, that has a honey pot of money that it, it distributes to all sorts of film-related things. So that can be, you know, building a cinema or financing all sorts of films, TV, and even video games. Now, in 2017, the CNC had about 707 million euros at its disposal. So 707 million euros at its disposal in 2017. Uh, and this money comes from various taxes, including actually a levy on cinema tickets. For each cinema ticket, 10.72% of the price goes to the CNC. So if your cinema ticket costs you 10 euros, and it increasingly does, over one euro will go to financing French films, regardless of the film that you see. All right, so doing the maths there, it's a huge budget that they've got to, to, to play around with. Now, that means the Hollywood blockbusters actually help finance art house at smaller budget French films that perhaps wouldn't have made it otherwise. And that's really good news for French filmmakers because most films that come out in France are actually 
American productions. If we take a look at 2017, you'll see that 37.4% uh, of the films that came out in 2017 were French, 48.8% American, and 13.9% other nationalities. Uh, a large number of American movies ensures that a large number of French movies are made. We're not concerned as long as we stay over the 35 percent threshold. That's a high market share compared to other European countries. We believe French cinema is alive and kicking and holding its own. Now, critics say that the state-backed system actually creates kind of an inflation of French films, which aren't always very good and don't always break even. But there are a lot of defenders of the system who say that, you know, this actually helps ensure that French filmmaking is diverse and also a very good quality. And in, indeed, in recent years, a lot of French films have won top awards, including in the United States. And, and defenders of the system say that what it really does is ensure that French films and French filmmakers aren't crushed by a Bollywood, Nollywood, and especially Hollywood. All right, folks, so the fight to keep French films alive continues. All right, thank you very much. Uh, that's all we have time for. But if you have any questions about France you'd like to explore in uh, French Connections, tweet Flo at Flo Villeminot, and you can also check out our website at, of course, France24.com.